that you and me together. We that you and me together, you and I, and we and all we are going. Where are we going, you might ask yourself. Well, we will tell you we are going around the world. We're going around the world because the world is round. We're going around the world, the world is round, that's why we might have a globe soon. Doesn't look like it. Mm. We're going <laughs> around the world, around the world, to discover how like and different we are, how we make our wishes on the same bright stars. We are going around the world with Miss Rebecca. Uh, that's true my friends yeah. my name is miss rebecca with the shayla north hills library that's miss ingrid behind the ipad here i am and also our musical but i'm not going to be here for long because we know where we're going around the world that's true okay. my friends welcome again we are going around the world today mm -hmm. but as you can see from these circular shaped objects and ovals oval sh more ovals i'd say than circles we have been to many places around the world that's in our first season of around the world um so far in this season in the summer season of 2021 we have been to egypt yep and we have been to the netherlands there we were now, my friends, you may be thinking, but Miss Rebecca, why are we going all around the world? Here is fine, and that's true. Here's where here is for us. We're in a suburb of Pittsburgh, and sometimes it feels like where we're at, that's just like all there is. It's just like us and the people we always know and all we see, and that's just the whole world. That is. But we might ask ourselves, is that all there is to the world? Is that all there is? Is that all there is? So, I don't know what song that is, and I if don't want to know right now. If that's all there is, my but friends. it's good to know that it it's is not. not just us right where we are. Mm -mm. We are in this whole big, beautiful, complicated world with all sorts of human beings, and, and they all have beautiful brains, and they all have hearts, and they just all have concerns and, and joys and all sorts of things. So yep. it's just good to know that. Mm -hmm. So we know there's all these people out here, all these humans, kids or grown-ups just like you. Yep. Dogs, kittens, birds. Birds. I mean, sometimes it's one of those things that's so big your brain's like, Oh, I what? can't even wrap around it. And soccer. But it's true. Yes, soccer's out there. A lot of soccer. Yeah, a lot of soccer. Well, my friends, today we are journeying to Guyana. Now I remember why I've heard about Guyana. And Central America is in North America. Or Central America is in North America. Yes. Did okay. I just say that? I I was looking yeah. at another book today, and I'm like, because ah, I think I thought it was in South. Dude, you know what? Pastor Clifton, he told me that he has. That's the only continent he hasn't been to is South America, because he's been to like wow. Guatemala and stuff. He could watch this episode in the one. And now he's there. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, yeah, friends. Won't you join me as we travel to <laughs> Guyana? Yes. We are continuing with, as you know, our Countries We Come From series. This one is by Lisa Alley. This is a nonfiction book. Nonfiction. As we know from week to week, we've got our table of contents. If we just wanted to go to the glossary or fast facts, we 
you would know to turn to page 30 or 31. Well, we probably don't want to go right to the glossary because no. we know it's going to be capital. We want to learn in independence. Yep. This yep. is Guyana. Tropical, wild, lively. Welcome to Guyana. Guyana is a small country in South America. About 700,000 people live there. Guyana is about the same size as the state of Michigan. No way! Michigan is right here in the United States. I've been to Michigan. I like Michigan. It's a nice state. Here is a market. There it is. In Guyana, not Michigan. Speaking of markets, this doesn't have anything to do with this market or Guyana. I recently began eating small oranges. Oh, like... I had never eaten small oranges, and I just started eating them, and I love them. Let's see, and there's all different Seedless kind of names mandarins. for them. mandarins. Mandarins, okay, because sometimes the, there's clementines, and there's miniolas, or whatever. Well, my my um, sister-in-law brought over some recently, and I ate them, and I didn't know what they are. Yeah. I call them the tiny oranges, yeah. and I just, we ate all of them. And then I got some from Giant Eagle, and they were called mandarins. Mandarins. But they taste just the same, so they could be the same thing. But you could still call them small oranges, just like we call Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, even though... Even you, though... It's, 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 yeah. We're not here to spoil anything. Oh, yeah. Most of Guyana is covered with lush forests. The country also has grassy plains. Mountains stretch across the land. Many of Guyana's mountains have flat tops. They're called tapeweeds. Oh, I like that. I like that word. Me too. I was thinking that tapeweeds. might be a great name for a cat. Tapeweeds. 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 Sounds like you're saying say please. Yeah. Over 50 rivers wind through the country. The Esquahibo River is the longest. Guyana comes from a Native American word. It means <laughs> land of many waters. Mm -hmm. Many of the rivers form huge waterfalls. Guyana's Cater Falls is four times, four times taller than Niagara Falls. Dude. This is Cater Falls. That, have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Yes. That's pretty tall. So I can't even imagine that would four be like times four times. Four times as tall. Amazing wow. animals live in Guyana's forests. Giant otters splash into rivers. Wow. Huge snakes slither on branches. Here's a giant river otter, boa constrictor. Colorful birds fly in the sky. This is a scarlet ibises. Mm -hmm. Guyana's largest land mammal is the tapir. Guyana has a long history. The Dutch and British ruled for hundreds of years. They brought slaves from Africa to work the land. In 1838, slavery was banned. Guyana became a free country in 1966. After 1838, the British brought workers from India to Guyana. The workers were treated almost as badly as slaves. And my friends, they are not workers; they are They're slaves. slaves. And, and you know what? We don't even, we don't even like to use that word anymore because that that just they were enslaved enslaved peoples. Yeah. The capital of Guyana is Georgetown. It's also the country's largest city. Probably George, named after King George. Georgetown is home to colorful Stabrook Market. Shoppers can buy fruit, maybe tiny oranges, clothes, and other things there. The market is known for its giant clock. The main language in Guyana is English. People also speak Creole, Hindi, and Urdu. This is how you say hello in Creole. Bonjour. This is how you say hello in Hindi. Namaste. Guyana is the only English-speaking country in South America. Dude, you know, I didn't know they spoke Creole there. You know where else they speak Creole? Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that's wacky. I'm reading an excellent book right now. Set in Louisiana? Yes. In New Orleans? No. St. James Parish. It's time to have fun! The Mushramani Festival celebrates Guyana's independence. People dress in colorful costumes. There's a big parade. 
the Mushramani Festival is held on February 23rd. Which is summer, right? Because it's below the equator. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, because it's different. Once you go below the equator. It flip-flops? It flip-flops. Oh, yeah, I guess that's right, because it's like. It's wild. Well, wait, it's above the equator, but mm. just slightly. Wait. Is this the equator? But I guess it would still be warm. I wonder when the seasons are in, in Guyana. Yes, this is the equator. All right, we got to find that out. Guyanese food is spicy and flavorful. Mm. Pepper pot is a sweet and spicy meat stew. That looks good. It does look good. Flatbread called roti is often eaten with it. People in Guyana eat a lot of fruit. Carambola is a tasty star-shaped fruit. I don't know what that tastes like. Mm. What's the most popular sport in Guyana? Ba, 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 ba. Cricket! What? Cricket is similar to baseball. The players whack a ball with a flat bat. Cricket That's bat. The British. Guyana was the host of the 2007 Cricket World Cup. Wow. Guyanese music is unique. It includes African and Indian sounds. People dance to the lively music. Guyanese musicians often play guitars and drums. Summer is a special time. Hundreds of sea turtles come to Guyana's shell beach. They lay their eggs in the sand. Weeks later, the babies hatch. They crawl into the sea. Four kinds of sea turtles nest on shell beach, but they don't tell us which ones. Fast facts. Capital city, Georgetown. Population of Guyana, over 700,000 humans. Main language, English. Money, Guyanese dollar. Major religions, Christianity, Hinduism, and Islam. Neighboring countries, Brazil, Suriname, and Venezuela. Cool fact. The national bird of Guyana is the blue-faced Quetzal. Chicks have claws on their wings to help them climb trees. How cool. We were talking about claws today in art. We were. Glossary. Capital. The city where a country's government is based. Independence. Freedom from outside control. Mammal. A warm-blooded animal that has hair or fur and drinks its mother's milk as a baby. Plains. Large, flat areas of land. Unique. One of a kind. Just like you, my friends, and just like all nice. the people around the world. My friends, that is Guyana. Now, what shall we take away from Guyana? Oops. I know. Sea turtles! Oh, nice. This is National Geographic Kids, Sea Turtles by Laura Marsh. Sea turtles. Doesn't that sea turtle look like it's like, hmm. That's me. Is that real? No, I drew it. <laughs> it does look pretty, pretty, like, I don't know. It looks what so cool. What am I going to do with her? I, I, I don't know. My friends, this is nonfiction. Once again, table of contents, which lets us know where things are at. If we wanted to jump right to nest building, we know that we could go to page 14. And in the glossary, we can find out what capital means. Perhaps. A sea turtle! What hatches on land but spends its life in the sea? What starts out the size of a ping pong ball but can grow up to seven feet long? A sea turtle. Sea turtles are graceful swimmers in the water. Their flippers move like wings. Sea turtles travel the world in warm ocean waters. They are one of the few reptiles that live in the sea. My friends, mm. see how similar that looks? Yeah. The dark blue area shows where sea turtles travel. Dude, they pretty much travel everywhere. Yeah, so I feel like they're not always in the warm, warm ocean waters. Yeah, I wouldn't think. I mean, I bet it gets yeah. a little nippy up there. Oh, yeah. 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 A sleek body helps the turtle move easily through the water. The scales on its shelter are called scoots, which sounds fun. 
This is a green sea turtle. The back flippers steer the turtle as it swims. They are also used to dig nests in the sand. A sea turtle has lungs because it breathes air, just like us. A sea turtle holds its breath underwater. Sea turtles can't pull their heads and limbs into their shells like land turtles can. Their large, powerful front flippers act like paddles. Scientists believe some sea turtles live 80 years or more, but they don't know for sure. Hmm. Meet the turtles. There are seven kinds of sea turtles in the world. Each has special features. The loggerhead is the most common sea turtle in the southeastern United States. It gets its name from its large head. The flatback has a flat body. It's the only sea turtle that doesn't live in the U.S. waters. It lives near Australia. I wonder if sharks eat turtles. Mm. The olive ridley has an olive-colored shell. It is shaped like a heart. The hawksbill can't dive deep. It spends most of its time on the water surface. The green turtle has a small head. Unlike other sea turtles, it goes ashore to warm itself in the sun. The Kemp's Ridley likes shallow waters. It's the world's most endangered sea turtle. Endangered means at risk of dying out. The leatherback doesn't have a hard shell. Its skin is rubbery with small bones underneath. Nest building. These are female olive ridley sea turtles. A female sea turtle comes on land to lay her eggs. She usually returns to the same beach where she hatched. Hmm. Scientists aren't sure how sea turtles know where to go. They think sea turtles know by instinct. The sea turtle digs a hole with her back flippers. She lays her eggs and covers them with sand. Then she returns to the sea. An instinct means behavior that animals are born just knowing how to do. This is the female green sea turtle. See her digging? Oh, baby! Crack! The eggs hatch over f after 50 to 70 days. Tiny turtles called hatchlings crawl out of their eggshells. Hatchling is a young animal that has just come out of its egg. They are less than three inches long. That's how big they are. That's cute. Baby loggerhead sea turtle hatching from its shell. Hatchlings usually crawl toward the sea at night. In the dark, they are hidden from predators. The little turtles follow the brightest light. The line where the sky meets the sea is the brightest natural light on the beach. If the hatchlings follow this light, they will make it to the sea. Predator is an animal that eats other animals. This is a leatherback hatchling. Big and small. The smallest sea turtles are the Kemp's Ridley and the Olive Ridley. Adults are about two feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds. There's a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Here, my friends, leatherback sea turtle. The largest sea turtle is the leatherback. It can grow up to seven feet long and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. That's about 10 men put together. Wow. On the menu, much, 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 much. What's for lunch? Most sea turtles eat plants and animals. They dine on algae and seagrass. They also munch on crab and conches. Algae is simple, non-flowering plants that do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Jellyfish are a favorite food for many sea turtles. Mm. But you know what, my friends? Plastic trash can look just like jellyfish in the ocean, and that spells trouble. Swallowing trash can hurt and even kill sea turtles. There's the plastic trash bag. There's the jellyfish. See how they can be confused? Danger! Trash isn't the only danger to sea turtles. Fishing nets and hungry animals can harm them too. Building lights can fuse hatchlings so they don't reach the sea. This leatherback turtle is confused by the city lights. Remember how those baby turtles look out at the ocean to see that bright line between the horizon? 
What if they see these bright lights? Barbara Brown Taylor says this uh, tells a story about a time she and her husband were walking on the beach and saw this ginormous leatherback turtle. And so they did call the turtle people. Turtle people. And they put chains on her and everything like that, the turtle people, and they were able to get her out back to the ocean. So chains were okay in that. Yeah, like they, these chains were okay. Like like they've given her a toe. Yes. Yeah, that's what it was. Special turtle yeah, toe. It was a toe. And as soon as she got in, she was like, woo, woo, woo. Sometimes people even step on sea turtle nests by accident. Sea turtle rescue. In 2010, a giant oil spill leaked into the Gulf of Mexico. Oil covered sea animals and washed up on beaches. Oil is dangerous to people and wildlife. That's a picture of some oil on beaches in Louisiana. This is an oil-covered Kemp's Ridley turtle. People in charge of a sea turtle rescue program in Louisiana saved many sea turtles. The rescuers cleaned the turtles and gave them medicine. People cared for them until they could return to the sea. Safekeeping. My friends, you don't need to work at a sea turtle hospital to help sea turtles. Mm -hmm. Here are a few things you can do to help keep them safe, and this is perfect timing. One, pick up trash on the beach. Two, don't release balloons into the air. They often end up in the sea. Mm -hmm. Three, turn out lights that could be seen from the beach. Four, Read beach warning signs. Avoid turtle nesting areas. Five, tell your classmates what you've learned about sea turtles. Glossary. This is an exciting glossary because it has pictures. That doesn't mean a, a glossary without pictures isn't exciting. But we can this already see there's not a picture exciting. of a capital. That's right. true. Or independent. Right. Which both are so so important yeah algae simple non-flowering plants that do not have stems roots or leaves endangered at risk of dying out hatchling a young animal that has just come out of its egg instinct behavior that animals are born knowing how to do predator an animal that eats other animals. I guess sharks do eat sea turtles. But do they, or is the shark just like... Like glam on Who there. eats... Right, right, right. Reptile, a cold-blooded animal that lays eggs and has a backbone and scaly skin. And when they say cold-blooded there, I, I just want to point out, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they're talking about a biological... Uh, condition there, cold bloodedness. They're not talking about. Uh, uh, Before you ask, turtles. what do you think? What do you think? Well, I just wanted to point it out think? for our friends at home. I don't think they were confused <laughs> until you brought it up. Mm -hmm. And then it's a whole other discussion. Yeah, it's true. My friends, we just journeyed to Guyana. We've already been there. Oh, I just smudged my circle. Egypt and Netherlands, just this season. Where else will we go? So many places, so many people, so much to see. See you and me. We're heading, heading around the world, around the world with Rebecca. It's true. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye.